Hello friends, welcome to Adobe Flash video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how do we work with panels in Adobe Flash and Adobe Animate. I minimize the word. I double click on first flash project folder to open it. Inside first flash project folder, we have created first flash project flash document. I double click to open it. You can see that first flash project flash document is open. At present, if you carefully observe, we have selected the classic workspace and all panels or windows are docked properly, right? First, we understand how do we dock and undock panels. Drag the panel name to document area to undock it. I go back here. I want to undock this properties panel. So what I do, I click and drag it to the document area. You can see that properties window or properties panel is undocked, right? It is now a free floating window. I want to dock it beside the toolbar. So what I need to do, drag the panel name. Once you see a blue highlighted line, let go the mouse to dock it. I go back here. I drag this properties window to the left. Once I see a blue highlighted line, I let go the mouse. You can see that now the properties window is docked beside the toolbar. Undock, what you have to do? Drag the panel name to the document area and let go. To dock it, just drag it again. Once you see a blue highlighted line, okay, you can let go that. So it is docked. Here you can see that. Undock. I want to dock towards right. So just drag it to the right completely. Okay. Let's see a blue highlighted line and let go. So that is how you dock and undock a panel. Next, we understand how do we group panels. You can see we have some windows here which are minimized to icons. I click on this double headed arrow to expand panels. You can see that we have color window. We have swatches window. I drag the color window out. I drag the swatches window out. Again, I click on the double headed arrow to collapse to icons. You can see now we have swatches window or swatches panel, which is a free floating window. Color window is also a free floating window. We can group them together. So how do we group? Drag the panel name onto another panel. Once you see a blue highlighted rectangle area, let go the mouse to group it. So what I do, I drag the swatches panel or window onto the color window. Once I see a blue highlighted rectangle area, I let go the mouse. You can see now color and swatches window are grouped. They are tab grouped guys. This is called as a tab group. Understanding? So that is how you group different windows in a single tab group. You can move them together, right? Next, we understand how do we change the order of panels in the panel group. To change the order, what you have to do is drag the panel name to the left or right in the panel group guys. So for example, I want to put the colors panel beside the swatches panel here. So I just drag it to the right, right? Let's take, I drag this properties panel out and I dock it or group it with the swatches and color. I want to move the color window right side. So I drag it to the right. I move the swatches window to the right. I move the properties window to the right. So like that, you can change the order of panels in a panel group. Next, we understand how do we minimize and expand panels. Double click on the panel name to minimize it. Click on the panel name to expand it. I go back here. What I do, I drag the properties panel out. I drag this tab group to the right. Once I see a blue highlighted line, I let go there. I drag this properties window down. Once I see a blue highlighted line, I let go there. Now you can see that we have here properties window, color and swatches window, right? If I have to minimize the swatches window or color window, I double click on it. You can see that the color window is minimized. If I have to maximize or expand it, I just need to click on it. Double click to minimize, click to expand. Next, expanding and collapsing to icons. Click on the double headed arrows to expand and collapse to icons. That's it. I go back here. If I click on this double headed arrow, collapse to icons, it is saying you can see that. You can see that now I can see color window icon, swatches window icon. We have properties window icon. If you are not good with 
remembering icons what you can do is you can just drag these bars to the left to see icon as well as name of the window just drag left you can see that i can see the name as well as the icon if you click they'll get expand understanding click to expand click to minimize next we understand how do we close a panel and panel group right click on the panel and say close to close the panel right click on the panel group and say close group to close the panel group let me go back here let me drag this color and swatches panel group outside i click on double headed arrows to expand panels i right click on the color panel say close if i say close you should see the color panel closed if i right click on the swatches panel say close group it closes the entire group guys now you can see that i can't see the color and swatches panel or windows here to make them visible i go to window menu and say here color you can see that i got the color window and swatches window in one group and i drag it to the right and just dock it below the properties window so that is how you work with panels or windows in a adobe flash or adobe animate guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again try yourself experiment more in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about flash for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial